Mastering English Conditionals, a Comprehensive Review and Comparison. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our English Grammar Review Series. Today, we're diving deep into the world of English conditionals. This can be a tricky area for many learners, but don't worry, we're here to help you through. Let's get started. Before we begin with the quiz, let's do a quick recap. English has four main conditionals. The zero, first, second, and third conditional. Each one is used to express different types of situations. Real, possible, hypothetical, or unreal. Zero conditional, used for real or general truths. E.g., if you heat water to 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. First conditional, used for real or very possible future situations. E.g., if it rains tomorrow, I'll stay at home. Second conditional, used for hypothetical or unlikely present or future situations. E.g., if I won the lottery, I would travel the world. Third conditional, used for unreal past situations, things that didn't happen. E.g., if I had seen you, I would have said hello. Now that we've refreshed our memories, let's test our understanding. We'll go through several sentences and identify which conditional is used. Remember to pay attention to the verb forms and the type of situation. 1. If you don't water plants, they die. Zero conditional. 2. If she studies hard, she'll pass her exams. First conditional. 3. If he were taller, he could be a basketball player. Second conditional. 4. If you had taken the earlier train, you would have arrived on time. Third conditional. When comparing conditionals, remember to focus on the type of situation they are used to express. This can often be the key to identifying which conditional to use in a given context. The zero conditional expresses general truths or habits. The action in the main clause always happens when the condition in the if clause is met. The first conditional speaks about future actions that have a real possibility of happening. The second conditional speaks about hypothetical or unlikely situations, often to express dreams, impossibilities, or speculations. The third conditional talks about a condition in the past that did not happen, thus the result in the main clause is also an event that did not happen. Great job, everyone! Conditionals can be tricky, but practice makes perfect. Keep reviewing and applying these rules in your conversations and writings. You're getting better every time. Keep going, and remember, we're here to support you every step of the way. See you in our next video. Remember to practice. This video was designed to help you learn, review, and strengthen your knowledge about conditionals. Happy learning!